Hey everybody, it's Paul from Reporting Live from my sofa! And I'm still on my sofa. I'm still very happy to be on my sofa. If you follow me, you know that we've been moving and changing life up and all that kind of fun stuff. And I've been away from my sofa, reporting from all sorts of random places, and I'm back. Bailey is next to me. Uh, we're on a beautiful campground and we're getting settled into our new place. And I wanted to start reporting to y'all about one of the most bizarre things that I've seen in quite some time. And you already know from the title what it is. It is our little friend, Tim Jones Jr. Y'all, this trial, I cannot believe that this is not national headlines. I mean, you know, just all over like the Watts case. I mean, this case is so bizarre and horrific and horrifying. And maybe that's why it isn't. It just, it, I find it interesting before we get into this, why some cases blow up and they're just all over the place, like Chris Watts and other cases. I mean, people are talking about this one and maybe it will come. I mean, I don't know, but it's just, you know, why is it? I mean, it's so horrific. I'm like, why is this one that not as popular? I guess you could say. Uh, so anyways, I digress. Uh, this video, as you can tell from the title, you already clicked it if you saw it. Uh, we're going to talk about his to-do list and the receipts that go with it, like literal receipts. So <laughs> we actually have literal receipts here. So here's one reason why this little aspect, and I just want to do one quick little video on this. So, you know, this is a, a, death, um, uh, a death penalty trial. He So he's fighting for his life, and he's trying to do the insanity play, and... I get that his attorneys, that's their job. I keep saying this over and over. That's their job. That's what they're doing. They're not just going to walk him up there and say, take him to, you know, take him out back. So they have to work with what they have, but they have so very little, in my opinion, to work with. I personally think that he is completely sane. I think he knew what he was doing. Uh, and I think that things like this show it. Now, I'm going to try and do a little card up here or here or here. I'm not sure where it goes to the... Um, the confession mo commentary video that I do because that right there I'm just like done you know we don't even need to talk a, a, a insanity play but then this stuff right here is like the receipts for okay you want even more proof that he was aware of what he was doing and from right from wrong and all that now I do not know the exact law in that state and I should have looked that up honestly before I did that I'm doing bad reporting for myself uh, um, what the exact law is in that state on pleading insanity so if there's an attorney out there watching or whatever you want to drop it in the comments let me know uh any commentary i want to put in there absolutely come on that's what this is for i love talking to y'all uh, i love getting a conversation going so let's just take a look at this real quick i've got my computer pulled up over here saying look around so you know they found this list you know lists uh in his car Excuse me. A clip were found in the box had papers attached to it. One of those papers had a series of handwritten lists attached. On a single page was scribbled these lists. So, and this is just where you read this and it's chill. Oh. Head to campground. Melt bodies. I mean, that part, just reading that, just, it, it's awful. Uh, saw and bones to dust or small pieces. Sanitation plant. Scribbled, right? There was some scribble. I think it said, like, dump at sanitation plant. Uh, another list begins. Loose ends. Terry, Christian, Jimmy, with the parentheses, Mtel, SG5, BG, pediatrician, Amber, scribbled writing. A third list. Number one, fidelity. Day one, burn up bodies. Day two, sand down bones. This is everybody's normal to-do list. Uh, and further down the page, bills, TWC, SCEG, post office, car, bank accounts, tattoo, glasses, scribbled writing, hunting gear. Um, let's see. And then there's, you know, and I'll put one of these pictures up here just of the, the amount of bleach that he's stained in the back seats from where the bodies were. I mean, it's just, I, I can't even, I can't even get there. So just this list, um, uh, and I'm just kind of reading through this real quick. Um, I mean, this right here, I'm just like, this guy knew exactly. I mean, this was... Let's clean. This was I, when I did was wrong, and we are going to clean the evidence up. Literally, I mean, it's like he almost like took a page out of Jeffrey Dahmer's book with this. I, I mean, and the fact that he made a list and just had it in the car. I mean, it almost does make you say, "Well, my God," you know. Um, and so Bailey has some thoughts about it too. Uh, 
so this part right here, this is where I just find the whole aspect of he's trying to, you know, do the insanity plea and all that. I just, I, I'm like, no, this right here, in addition to the confession, it's absolutely not. And remember in the confession, if you listen to the whole thing, where he basically says, and I cannot remember which kid, maybe it was Natan, which is also interesting because he had this fixation of just hatred towards this one child, it seems, where he was like, I started to try and saw him up, but I couldn't do it. And I'm like... Yeah, you know, just like, well, okay, at least that's where, if you want to know where his elevator for being a horrific person gets off at, it's at sawing the decomposing body of his child up after carrying it around for five days after he killed it. That's where, that's his bottom rung on that, on that elevator ride. Um, so, you know, but then you read this list and I mean, he's just, he's covering all these loose ends up, but he keeps saying like in the confession where he knows he was going to get caught. I mean, obviously, you know what I mean? Like you don't wipe out your family and they just disappear. You know I mean? They're supposed to go, you know, have a meeting with so-and-so and and a meeting with so-and-so, you know, with his uh, ex-wife Amber. I mean, the whole thing just doesn't make sense. So that aspect it it alone to me just kind of negates the whole insanity play now i'm going to switch over real quick let me look at this so then you know they also show the evidence of walmart and like remember in the uh the confession where he's like which walmart you know he's like it was stopping it just walmart was his gig not that you know i get it um they have everything clearly let's look at his receipts um but here he is i mean jab saw goggles dust mask um, that Mueller, I can never pronounce the word, the acid that he got, a multi-saw, five-gallon paint bucket, is that five-gallon pail? I mean, it's all right there. So here's his little to-do list of this is how I'm going to try and cover this crime up, and here's where I start doing it. So that alone right there, I'm just like, if you're looking for insanity, I mean, of course, any of us laypersons can be like, yeah, he's insane. You know what I'm saying? But and the definition of right from wrong you know this guy knew exactly what he was doing and again i've said in my other videos i think the only times we see him crying in court is because he's caught and his life's over because that was his first concern right out the gate was oh my god my life is over how do i cover this up and hide it and the fact that his knee-jerk reaction was let me wipe out all the kids. That's where he's trying to say that he snapped and he did this, you know, and it wasn't pre-planned. And maybe he was saying that too, because in his world, he thought, well, if it's not pre-planned, it's not as bad. And he might have a point if he had stopped at the first kid, you know, and it was like a manslaughter. I mean, he was going to go to prison for this. I mean, that, that was a given. But, you know, if it was like a manslaughter thing and maybe in his world, he was thinking he could get away with that. Now, I have no doubt People snap. People lose their temper. I mean, I do. My gosh, but pardon me. Do we go and slaughter, you know, numerous people, our families, our kids? No, the average person doesn't. And so that's where, you know, and also with the DSS reports and things like that, you know, that's where we see. I mean, there's other issues going on here already. So there was already, you know, a situation taking place here that wasn't a great thing for the kids to be in as far as I'm concerned. And so then this takes place. And so his answer, you know, was just to do that. So I'm going to bring this to an end. The dogs are going crazy. Uh, I keep having to stop this. So uh, I'm trying to learn this new camping site where, like, what a good time to record something is. And obviously, this time is not. So again, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what you think about the receipts, the list, the whole nine yards. Start a conversation. Don't forget, we are on Discord. We have an awesome conversation going there about that. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, Anyways, I hope y'all are doing great, and I look forward to talking to y'all soon. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.